What's up, wild people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alexandria Denise, and I'm here with another garden update this week about my three sisters. If you haven't watched the other three sisters video, My Three Sisters Are Fighting, uh, you can go back and watch that video there to get context of what I'm doing this week. As you can see, I have one zucchini plant left, and I planted this corn some time ago, and it's already starting to kind of come up. I'm not sure if I want to take that up, not sure yet i'm guess i'm gonna see how it does but um i got my other corn here ready to plant inside got some more of the loam soil but i do have a loam soil or a loam compost video that you guys can check out too very good information there i'll link that and i have my other additives over here just gonna go ahead and get to planting the rest of this corn here into the new bed after i mend the soil and everything put nutrients back in it i'm going to put some good bone meal blood meal i got some alfalfa pellets for nitrogen um, and just the whole shebang cow manure so gonna hook that up really quickly and show you what i got at the end So, end result here, as you can see, I didn't uh, dig up the flower bed. What I just did was layer nutrients on top of the stuff that I already had. The reason being is called the lasagna method to where you basically just layering nutrients on top of your soil without actually disturbing the microflora underneath. I got this bed started earlier this year, so it's probably already some good stuff happening under there. Uh, the roots of the corn will find its way down, but in the meantime, the nutrients that I put on top will seep down over time into the soil um, that's already established, and it'll continue to um, feed the plant. But hey, the blood meal, bone meal, um, black cow manure, that is alfalfa pellets and basically just put a little bit of nitrogen in the uh, soil there so as it gets wet it breaks down so on it releases all of that so i'm gonna leave these in here for like two weeks uh, before i plant the beans i want the corn to get good and established with everything in this soil i want it to dominate i also did it as a transplant because i was clearing out things like i said if you watch the other video you'll understand my method but i also planted it um or piled some dirt up over the corn as you can see when you do the three sisters traditionally how it's done you pile the mound together and you place the corn in the center of the mound so that when it grows up the roots grows down and some of the um, the stock here as you can see is just above the soil line the dirt acts as a support with squash traditionally winter squash um, would be the one that you would want to use but obviously you can do summer squash too i've done winter squash before and it just vines all over the place and i have too many vining plants right now i got the watermelon over there i got those uh, cucumbers here so i just didn't want to do too much with the uh, winter squash there 
and basically they get both grown in the summer the summer squash and the winter squash it's just that the winter squash um, has a thicker skin so you can store it for longer than summer squash um, and on top of that it just branches out all over the place so yeah just since then branched away from it zucchini i like it anyway i have a spiralizing zucchini video coming out where i am going to uh, feature some venison meatballs and marinara as well as shrimp alfredo and some chicken zoodle soup so stay tuned for that one but other than that yeah this is the second start to this eager to see how it turns out please like the video at least if you do nothing else guys i appreciate it thank you so much and uh until next time stay wild